Welcome everyone to the classic Monsters vs Men with FNG as the Empire against Samurai as the Lizard Men. This battle will commence on Prague with quite the powder filled matchup. So if we do pop over here with the lizard men, we will be seeing two very sneaky units of chameleon skinks in the front. Four units of those cheap skink cohorts to get into that back line with four chunky units of Soros warriors with shields. We'll be having two units of the armor piercing shock cavalry cold one riders and two units here of the anti large variant cold one spear riders here. Very good with that fear and 90 armor. For the magic today, we will be having the Skink Priest of Heavens. He will be having three spells with the Curse of the Midnight Wind, as well as Wind Blast and also Harmonic Convergence. We will be having the Source Old Blood on top of a Carnosaur today as the Lord Choice. He will be having the Corn of Kygor, as well as Stand Your Ground, Amulet of Itzel, Foe Seeker, and Cold Blooded. So quite the good old-fashioned army here from the Lizardmen. This is a good way of dealing with the Empire. So for the Empire today, we are going to have a couple of units of Swordsmen in the front, including the very nice Sigma Suns for that unbreakable status. And for the Lord Choice today, we will be having the big bad Volkmar the Grim. He will be having Grand Soulfire, Grand Shield of Faith, Grand Hammer of Sigma, Banishment, and the Jade Griffin. We'll be having a single unit of the Great Swords, and quite a few units of Spearman with shields, I believe three and four units of the Halberdiers for the armor-piercing anti-large in the back. In the middle pocket, we'll be having two units of free company militia and two units of the handguns here for that very nice armor piercing. We're also going to be having two units of the great cannons here, very nice for the 450 range, and lots of armor piercing, very good at taking down large dinosaurs. So a really quite good build here from the boys from the Empire, going to be very good at dealing with all large entities. So as we do go forward here, I believe the plan was, was to get the Coleman Spear Riders around the flank to deal with all sorts of Demogriff Knights and all sorts of heavily armoured knights for the Empire, use that there with a good curse in the Midnight Wind, etc. Get through there, use the Horn of Kygo to really punch through that back line and then get onto these cannons and handguns. However, there's going to be no cavalry today, there's going to be a mass front line here of spears and swordsmen. Now uh, here, quite comfortably, you are going to win with the Saurus here up against the front line with the uh, Sigma Suns, etc. Uh, you will get through eventually, however, you will struggle up against these great swords and the mass armor piercing here in the back. As you can see in the middle, it looks like the Source Soul Blood is going to be coming after Volkmar the Grim. He does have the perfect stats here with the anti-large armor piercing to deal with him. And he's going to be getting slowed down here by the Poison Skinks. He will be coming through to the middle. And is he going to be able to catch Volkmar is the question. Cannon shots are going to go down and they will be hitting the Source Soul Blood. Nice hit there going down on top of Volkmar as well. I think it's just going to be a burning head. Very good burning head there. Good micro here coming out of Hand Samurai. But as you can see, shots going into the Source Soul Blood. Really taking some big hits there in the pocket, losing over a thousand HP already. Over here on the right hand side, it's like we've already got some cold run riders and that very nice armor piercing here, pushing straight onto the free company militia and really stopping them down from shooting. Gonna be fantastic there and really help the chameleon skins as well. The source old bloods here pushing through to the front line. Looks like we are gonna back off with the handguns. The front line is starting to default it a little bit, and a very nice uh, curse in the midnight wind should be going in the front, and a nice wind blast to take out the very nice Sigma Suns. Shots going down here up against Volkmar, very good with that poison, and just slamming down Volkmar on the Grim, really uh, preventing him from just rolling over this front line, which we all too well know he can do. Over here on the right hand side, we do have some Halberdiers, pushing in with some Spearmen, really just trying to zone out here from some of the cavalry and the rest. You know, that was a bit of a fireball there going down the front up against the Saurus Warrior Shields. And it's very low here is going to be the Source Old Blood. Amulet of Vitzel going down. A banishment that looks like it was meant to be dealing with the Chameleon Skinks. But the Source Old Blood needs to get out of it. He certainly can't die. That'd be a negative 16 leadership uh, map wide there if it does go down. But it looks like doing the perfect job here are these Skink Cohorts. Nice and cheap. 300 cost. Getting into the back and shutting down these free company militia. Perfect stuff there. With also the Cold One Spear Riders in the pocket fighting here up against the handguns. And what you need to try and do with the handguns is try and see if you can pull them through the halberdiers. But as you can see, they're in the middle between, so I think you're going to be losing these handguns nice and early on. In the front line, looks like the Soros Warriors have one here up against those swordsmen, so they will be pushing into the front line and getting onto these handgunners. That's a bit of a shame there. Free Coming Militia is still online, so you should be able to get some volleys off here, but that is the problem here for the Empire up against the Lizardmen. That front line can really struggle if you don't have great swords. Push you through is going to be a third unit of Source Warriors. They're going to be really getting onto the back here. Shut down this free company militia. As we can see, the great cannon crews are going to be pushing off as we do get some pressure on the back line from those armor piercing cold run riders. Over here on the side, we can see that the Source Warriors is just going to be staying alive here. He needs to stay alive to make sure that we keep all of that leadership here for the Lizard Men. Burning head in the front here. Brilliant one there going down on the Source Warriors with shields. 
As you can see, these lovely oh, cobalt spear riders doing some good work. But unfortunately, getting caught here by the halberdiers, which are perfect at dealing with these heavily armored spear riders. In the minute here, we do have the Saurus. We're going to be chasing here up against the Bright Wizard. That will uh, certainly carve him a new one for sure. Fireball going down there. And I think its intended target is going to be here, the Saurus Old Blood. It is going to do a bit of a bend here, a bit of a wanted. Is it going to catch though, is the question. Saurus Old Blood, 700. Oh, he just misses there. Good terror going down on the Saurus Warriors here from Voltmar the Grim. Really good stuff at removing that infantry for sure. And you can see the Chameleon Skin is just going to be poking into the backside of the Great Sword. So hopefully getting some good value there as well. We are going to get some spearmen as well as some halberdiers coming in to try and uh, get on top of these Saurus Warriors. So we can try and see if we can get these three company militia away to see if they can get some shots in as well. Swordsmen are going to come in and aid. But you need to keep these three company militia moving, unfortunately. That's so why they are going to get caught. Some handguns in the back will be absolutely decimating here up against these Cold One Spear Riders. But they are going to get into the back. They have Rampage and they're just going to be yeeting all sorts of handgunners left, right and centre. So we have lost a unit of the Great Cannons, and coming into the pocket is going to be the Soros Old Blood. He's going to be chasing after Voltmar the Grim. He is going to get caught here by the Halberdiers, but he does need to get away. He's going to be having 145 Kill HP everything. left. Oh no, this could be a fireball. It is a fireball. Oh no, the Soros Old Blood could go down here. Can he duke? No, Hans Samurai has lost the Soros Old Blood, and that will be negative 16 leadership. Faction wide, Banishment in the back here, again just missing there, unfortunately, on the Chameleon Skinks. They are going to come in the middle and try and see if they can screen out Volkmar. Coming in back though, we are starting to wave it here on some of the cavalry. Unfortunately, they're very, very low at this point. And just losing your lord there, that negative 16 leadership made a massive difference here and actually broke quite a few units towards the end. But what a fantastic matchup here between these two absolute legends coming in with the Volkmar here up against the Soros Old Blood. So it's like getting 700 damage value here, 500 for the Skin Priest of Heavens, and it's like 200, 160, 190, and 300 for the. Uh, very nice skin cohort. That unit there, really getting in the back there and shutting down that range was quite nice to see. But 600 for the Saurus Warriors, 470, 350, and 400 for the Saurus with the nice shields. With 200 and 450 for the Chameleon Skinks. Bit of a shame there not to see them do as much as you would like. But they'll certainly get some good value here on the elite units of Great Swords and also just poisoning Volkmar, really slowing them down and removing that mobility that they can have and how exceptionally is it dealing with front lines. It's so like here, 213 with 175 for the Cold One Riders, and 500 and 1,100 here for the Cold One Spear Riders. Very nice old school build here from Hand Samurai, like it quite a bit. But here from Volkmar, we've got 450, 450 here from the Bright Wizard as well, 180, uh, 230, 300 from the Swordsman in the front line, from these very nice Free Company Militia, 300 and 240, 677 and 1,250 from the Great Cannons, 555. 650, 370, and 770 from the Halberdiers, and for the very nice spears, 320, 180, and 77 kills for 260, not bad on these spearmen indeed, but 870, 900 here on the handgunners, really wrecking apart that source of blood nice and early on, with 610 damage value for the great source. Unfortunately here, I think the majority costing was unfortunately having the source of blood coming into the open, and just really getting shot here from the tank cannons, and I'm luckily here, for the lizard men they didn't have nets on the empire side of things but what a fantastic battle here from both sides if you really did enjoy this please think about leaving a big thumbs up i'd really appreciate it drop a comment down below about what you guys thought about this video and if you are brand new here maybe think about subscribing it would really really help me here on the channel if you're already awesome and subscribe maybe try sharing this video with somebody else who you think might enjoy it as well and if you are brand new here you can go into the description here and find my discord where you can see all of the awesome people already in my community i see all of the videos and live streams coming forward in the future so i've been your boy logic i hope you've enjoyed your time take care of yourself during these uh, very difficult times and i'll see you in the next video or live stream take care